My name is Ryan McLean. I drive a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. And I'm 22 years old. I've seen a lot of Tacomas everywhere. It was actually between a Subaru STI and a Toyota Tacoma and I had a friend that said, seriously, look at the STI and look at the Tacoma. There's so much more you can do to a Tacoma. You can off-road with it. You're going to be living in Utah. Uh, you can drive it daily and then you can go up into the mountains. And so that's really what inspired my build. Um, just because I want to be able to do the things that I need to do um, in my daily life. And then I also wanted to go off-roading when possible. Um, and so the way that I've seen trucks in the past and on Instagram, um, this is just how everything turned out, all my ideas into one. My first mod would probably be the Toyota Tacoma, the tailgate lettering. And then from there, I just saw a bunch of parts on forums, um, on websites like Tacoma Beast as well. Um, and I really liked all the products that they had. And uh, after seeing everybody else's builds, I can't remember um, a lot of the first original big Tacoma guys that had all these mods, but I really looked up to them and just took some of what they had and then mixed in a little of my own thoughts. And that's kind of what got me started. For my suspension system, I have a 6 inch to 8.5 inch BDS suspension with Fox 2.5 coilovers. Um, the reason why I went with the Fox is just because I like, I like uh, Fox a lot. And it's not necessarily Kings, although Kings are good. Um, I just wanted something that was different from anybody else and definitely the Foxes on that BDS lift is great. And so I adjusted the lift from 6 inches to roughly about 7.5 inches and then after you adjust everything I'm probably sitting around 7 inches of height. Yeah, so in order to do a 6 inch lift you have to cut the cross membrane in the front. Fortunately I didn't have to do that because you know, that's quite a bit of work and I don't know how to do that. So you didn't do it yourself, but you did have to do it on the truck. Yeah, we did have to do it on the truck. Uh, you have to make some adjustments in the front. Um, other than that, the lift is great. I love it. As part of the suspension system, I have SPC adjustable control arms. Um, I really like them just because you can go positive and negative with it and move your wheel front or back. Um, so that's why I went with SPCs. The ride's actually really great in the front and the rear is kind of a different story. I'm working on getting some six inch custom leaves made so that the ride in the back is better but definitely in the front rides like butter and I love it. What do you have for wheels and tires man? That's so sweet setup and the stance is just great. Yeah so I have some 20 by 12 Vision Rocker 412 satin black and then for tires I have 35 by 12.5 R20 with a negative 51 offset and I love I love the mud trains. I recently switched from all terrains. Um, I also had Toyo tires but uh, these tires are actually really great. The road noise isn't that bad and with the rims and everything going down the road the road noise is actually quite not that bad even though you'd think it would be. So dude, tell me, I know that in Utah they're very strict with having your wheels sticking out so much. What have you dealt with? Man, I've dealt with cops pulling me over, even in my own neighborhood. Uh, that was, that's a different story for another time, but uh, you know, you're not half supposed to have your tires stick out in a certain amount of length, or you're supposed to have mud flaps, and you're also supposed to have the bigger fenders to cover it in the state of Utah. And because of that, you know, I've gotten a couple of tickets and some warnings. Um, so hopefully I don't get pulled over again. For the skid plates, I have a TRD Pro skid plate. So the Pro skid plate actually goes back, uh, back further quite a bit. So what I had to do to fit it with my lift is I had to cut the skid plate in half in order to put the bolts up on both the top part and the under part to make it fit. So it's super custom and you can't buy six inch skid plates anywhere unless you're running a rough country lift maybe and they give you a skid plate that fits that. So I bought that grill aftermarket. It was also probably one of the first mods I did. People say the Tacoma Pro grills are overrated but personally for me I just love the look of them. It's a lot better than the original grills that they come with and I love the black and white combo. It matches my truck. On the grill I also have some Raptor lights. They're LEDs. I love the look of how the four are together. Um, some people space them out and have different spacing options, but for me personally, I really like how they're together and it really makes my truck look really good. All right, Ryan, now let's talk about your headlights, man. These are definitely one of a kind. Driving up here, I saw it through my mirror and uh, you were using the turn signals. They just look so awesome, man. Let's talk about your headlights. Yeah, so probably one of the most favorite things about my headlights is their switchbacks. So when they're white uh, and I turn a turn signal on or anything, they flash orange and it makes it look really unique. Um, so about my headlights, so they're stock headlights. A lot, I get that question a lot, like what type of headlights are they? Can I buy them? So you actually have to custom make them. You have to paint the whole inside um, as well as add 
uh, halos on the inside. So I have one halo on the left side, which is the low beam. And then on the high beam, I upgraded it to a high lens projector and then added a halo as well on top of that. Um, and then also on my low beams on the left side of my, or right side on the far side of the headlights, um, I have demon eyes. And then on the, on the turn signals on the side, they're Meso custom stage two side markers. So they'll switch back as well. So everything switches back and I have a DRL board as well that changes colors. So everything in the headlight is RGBW or it's just rainbow colors basically. Uh, it can change to any color that you want it to be. And it does everything, I love it. All right, man, so what do you have for your taillights? So I actually have some Tacoma Beast 8DX smoke taillights. Uh, I love the look of them. I get lots of compliments on them. Uh, when I first did my taillights, I just had the stock ones and I tried using something called Nightshade turned out terrible I can write some pictures if you want I don't think you want to see them uh, but I saw your tail lights on some other vehicles and I was like I gotta have those they're sick so they're very unique and help uh, my truck look one of a kind now I also noticed that your rear third light is aftermarket let's talk a little bit about that thing that thing is sweet yeah so I have Meso Customs BD5 third brake light kit so that install is actually really hard because you can either do it from the inside um, and there's a couple screws to mount everything back. So you have to open the whole third brake light out and then you have to drill the screw out if you're not going from the inside. So that was kind of a process and I dinged to the back a little bit. Um, but other than that, it was pretty easy for the most part. Um, the rock the rock lights that go inside the BD5 kit that Meso or the mold that Meso makes um, fits very well and they're the brightest light ever. I've actually had a guy follow me home one time because I had him on he said I can't see behind you. Probably one of the most interesting installs I've ever had um, but very unique and I haven't seen anybody else with that third brake light kit yet. Another light setup that I have is the Miso Custom Puddle Lights. Um, they're probably one of my favorite lights. I love unlocking my truck uh, and having those puddle lights pan, uh, fan out. Um, and I also have their switch kit, uh, which I can leave it on. So if I'm driving at nighttime, I can put it on and it creates super um, great LED lines uh, on the ground so you can see. And then along with that, I also have some USR turn signal uh, LED lights. So they stay LED and then when I, they're switched back. So when I press my blinker left or right, they they turn orange and they signal where I'm going. Same with my halos, everything's all sequential and it's awesome. Cool, man. What about your rock lights? I saw that you also had those. So I have the Yoda Mafia six piece uh, light kit. Uh, it hooks up into the bed lights. Um, so whenever I turn my bed lights on from the inside of the cab, it turns on my rock lights. Um, it's a pretty well designed kit. And then along with that, I also have um, colored lights in my uh, wheel well. So I have probably a total of 14 rock lights, uh, eight of them being colored and six of them just being super white LED. So I mean, if I wanna have my truck like super colored, I can put like my halos a certain color um, and then throw the rock lights on, make it a certain color, or I could just do all white LED, baby. I mean, I, that's what I enjoy. I love the white look. So for the rear end, I had the chrome bumper caps, but I didn't like it. So I threw on the ecological bumper caps. Um, to match the white and I really like them and then as well for my tonneau cover I have the Gator Tracks tonneau cover uh, it's retractable so it's nice to store things and easily access them uh, for future use uh, what about your entire light setup I see you have a 40 inch up at the top you have some pods and bumper what do you what do you have there so I have some Baja designs on my Lil B fabrication front bumper. Those are probably my favorite lights that I have. I believe they are the Pro Series and then I have the S2 model. And then for my ditch lights, I have the Rough Country Cree LED lights. So the, like, my favorite function about those is they have a DRL mode. Um, so you can run them on during the day, it creates a unique feature. And then up top, I believe I also have a Rough Country light bar. And it's pretty bright for the most part and it changes colors. Uh, but probably my favorite lights on all my truck is the Bajas that I have just because they output any other light I've ever owned. So for sliders, I have an NFAB 3 inch tube. Uh, it's textured black. Um, I really love the look of it. Um, I think it's unique on my truck personally. All right, Ryan, so for the sliders, man, I know these are not off-road sliders and, you know, the little parts that stick out will get knocked out if you go on a rock, but what was the main purpose of you getting these sliders? I mean, have you seen them? They look badass. They I really mean, do. I absolutely just love the look of them. I love how it stands when you look at my truck. Um, and if it gets hit off by like a rock or anything on off road, I'll just buy another one. I mean, I absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, they're my favorite by far. So I have a little bees fabrication front bumper. Um, I did lots of research on front bumpers that 
uh, I liked and that were unique and so when I bought this one it was pretty brand new to the market and nobody had them and nobody really still has them and so I think they're, they're really unique uh, for what they are right now. I absolutely love the design of it with the DO, I think it's the DOB tubing or DOM tubing that they have on there as well as that slot and then that aggressive angle that comes in. I think it really stands out with the like the Baja lights right there and I also love the low the low bar that they have on that front bumper. I mean there's different options you can put on it but I think for my truck I mean that's just that's everything I've ever wanted in a front bumper and they finally made it and when I saw it I was like that's my front bumper that is what I want. Now dude let's talk about your engine bay have you done anything to it? I have an SMB air intake. Um, I really love the sound of it. It kind of sounds like it has a turbo under there. It sounds really weird, but when I'm driving and I downshift because I have a manual, it sounds really good. And then along with that, I also have some Switch Pros, the 9100 series, um, which has made my lighting job on my truck so much easier. And then I also have a power tray that goes with the Switch Pros, and then I have a couple terminals and other fancy gadgets that make sure no surges or anything happen within my truck uh, for lighting wise. So up top for my roof rack, I have the Prince U cab rack. Um, I also have the cutout for the light bar as well. And along with that, I have some Homeon traction boards up top. But yeah, the Prince U design, I love the design that they have for the truck. Uh, makes my truck look unique. Um, even though some a lot of people have them, and I think a lot of people have them because they literally look incredible. So dude, for your interior, uh, that meat that we had the other day, that little small meat that kind of popped out of nowhere, I had a chance to kind of see inside your ride and the interior is just extremely unique. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your interior. What inspired you to go with the whole white scene that you went with? Man, I just, I really love the color white. It's actually my favorite color. It's kind of an odd color to have as a favorite. Um, but I wanted to kind of offset it in a way because when I thought, when I was doing my interior, I thought all white everywhere would look kind of crazy. Um, but I matched it with some black as well in there so that everything offsets really nicely. Um, so the white interior is pretty ballsy to do, but I mean, what inspired me was just, it's my favorite color. And I mean, it black and white's the whole thing in my truck. Gotta stick with the OG. So did you actually paint those parts or did you buy like the actual knobs and all this stuff that's on it? For the parts, um, I had my friend, Branch Yoda again, he helped me take it all off. He's really good at painting, so he painted, we sanded it down and he painted uh, my door handles by the door jam area. Um, we painted the bezels all the way around. Uh, we painted the chrome cup holder area. Um, we painted by the shifter area. Um, so yeah, it's all custom paint that we had to do in layers. Um, and then for the knobs and whatnot, we actually got those from AJT Design. Um, and we put those in, uh, and they look really good. I personally love how it all matches in the front. Um, and we also did like black by the knobs right there. So just because of the white and the black, we wanted to put on a black offset so that um, it just wasn't too white on the inside. Um, I'm sure when you guys look inside it and you see photos on this YouTube video that you'll notice that everything offsets really well. Um, in comparison to what we got going on in there. Yeah, honestly, it's not like too much where it's like obnoxious. It's just the right amount. I love how everything just sticks out. Also, um, on your shift knob, you did like a multicam white. On yeah. How, I, was that a cool, like, tell me a little bit about that process. Was that hard to do? That process was pretty interesting to do. You got to take the whole, uh, all the pieces off um, by the shifter and you got to unscrew them and then you got to take it off. and. You actually have to cut out all the staples um, and pull everything off the original shifter. And then that shifter doesn't come pre-made as in like you have to create your own holes and whatnot and you have to create your own lines to make sure that it fits the way that you want it to be so that it looks like a normal shifter. So it's probably one of the hardest installs I've done um, interior wise. Um, but it, it looks really interesting, especially on the e-brake. And I went with the camo just because, I mean, nobody has it and I love, I love that like white camo type of look. So for my shift knob, I have a TRD Pro shift knob um, that we we painted all the emblems white um, on it and we also did some white stitching on it so that it would match my interior perfectly and then we added some black inlays so that it matched the theme of the truck uh, on the TRD part portion of the shift knob. So on my interior lighting for my dome and map lights, I have Miso Customs um, by far the brightest interior lights you can have for your vehicle. Like if you literally lose anything in your vehicle, you just turn that light on and you can see it anywhere, under the seats, wherever. 
uh, it's insane um, when I walk up to my truck at night and I unlock it either being in a parking lot or anything and I can see through my tinted windows I can see I can see through anything they're by far the greatest uh, lights out there for interior lighting so I've got quite a bit done to the sound system um, it's pretty basic upgrades so I have two 10 inch subs in the back they're pioneers um, they're shallow mounts and then I also have shallow mount boxes back there uh, so that those can fit and I have one amp that currently goes to them and then I also have another amp that's a Pioneer that goes behind the head unit that we hooked up so that my door speakers, which are also upgraded, uh, can get more output. And so my door speakers in the front and back, they're kickers. Um, I think they sound incredible. Um, along with that, I also have some Subaru tweeters in the front um, that sound really good. And then it also has a knob that adjusts on the inside so that my subs sound a little good. But if I had to change anything on my audio on the inside, I'd probably add more sound deadening uh, just because there is some vibrations when I crank up my subs really loud but I'm sure once I either like dyno mat or just throw sound some uh, sound deadening on the inside of the doors it won't rattle as much and it'll sound even better than it does now. Do you have anything done to your exhaust? Yeah so I have a MBRP exhaust it's a cat back three inch aluminum um, exhaust um, and I cut it actually at a 45 and put it over the axle um, I didn't really like the look of the Tacomas when they had the exhaust come out the side. Uh, so I just wanted to cut it at a 45 um, so you couldn't really see it from the wheel well as well as just under the truck. Um, so I thought that was pretty unique and I love the sound of it. Um, I, I do have to say though when I get to around maybe 5,000, 6,000, maybe 4,000 RPMs, it sounds kind of a little ricery but not too bad. But I, I really like it when I downshift because it just makes such a good sound with my exhaust. Um, and everything else that I got going on. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite things and favorite sounds, especially when shifting on my truck. So all in all, man, how much have you spent on this build? Sorry, mom, uh, $25,000 maybe. So on top of what the truck cost you, you've put $25,000? Um, okay, so really quickly. <laughs> uh, my, I told my wife I got sponsored by like all my parts are basically free which is definitely not we both know that's not true yeah. um, and I just put it all in my business account so what do you think we should do? Oh man that's so <laughs> awesome for the video bro You think your wife's uh, gonna watch that video? Watch it, I know she's gonna watch it I'd probably say with all the parts and accessories that I have in the truck and I've gotten uh, to anywhere from 25 to 30 grand uh, has been put in the truck parts wise. So on top of what the truck cost? Yeah, the truck was 37 um, MSRP. That's what we got it for. And then we put about 25 to 30 grand into it. I have a question for you. Do what you off-road? I actually mall crawl quite a bit. No, nah, yeah, I, I off-road. Uh, I enjoy it. I mean, <laughs> I got a suspension for it. It's got ability to go in the mall. It's got the ability to go off-road. It's got the capacity to sit in the garage. It's got everything. It could do anything. But it uh, is a stiff ride, is it? Um, when off-roading, I would say in the back it's pretty stiff, but in the front it rides a lot better. Um, I mean, it's kind of scary sometimes when there's like big, big rocks, just because my um, drop bracket lift will maybe hit a rock and it sits a little lower than maybe a stock Tacoma or like a long travel Tacoma. Um, so that's kind of the only issue I really have with off-roading um, currently. Did you think it was going to look like this when you started this build? Is this, this how you is, envisioned it? This is essentially how I envisioned it. I just wanted LEDs. I just knew I wanted LEDs everywhere. I wanted white everywhere. I wanted it to look mean. I wanted it to look tall and wide. I just wanted it all. And I mean, it's exactly how I wanted it to look and how I've always envisioned my dream truck of looking like. All right, man. Anything that you want to say to your following base? Yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much um, just for following my truck and just really appreciating my build. I always get multiple DMs a day from you guys, always wanting to learn and ask me questions about what I got going on in the truck. Um, I always appreciate your guys' feedback, um, your kindness. Uh, so if you have any questions about my build or anything from this video, please shoot me a DM at that Tacoma though. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Uh, and I look forward to talking to more of you guys, meeting more of you guys in the future.
right guys that about wraps it up for this video ryan dude it's been awesome hanging out man really cool shooting your truck i had a chance to drive it it's a manual and i just it was so much fun to drive it around you did a solid job with this build man. if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video